my main stipulations for the whole let's create a band type of stuff was I wanted a Dan Seagrave cover. I've always loved his covers from the Suffocation Effigy of The Forgotten, which is my favourite album cover of all time. You just look at it and you find a little bit and, oh, that's amazing. It's a bit more there. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. And that's exactly what we've got behind us. It's Every time you look at it, there's something else you find. So we want to recreate that old, whole 80s Let's aspect. Let's get the old already. school back together. We are an old school death metal band and, and we want to kind of create that. No better than doing that by using um, Dan Seagrave as the artist. So we, we, we approached Dan and we gave him a very vague um, artistic direction. We told him basically we wanted a, an ethereal war, um, war-torn. war-torn landscape with a, a procession. Um, medieval over, uh, well yeah that's a kind of a impression of going across it and he's come up, he's come up with something amazing uh, the detail that's in the album cover is, is is absolutely fantastic and I think Dan's pretty chuffed with it himself as well yeah, you know he's, he said that he's he's, uh, he's, he's he got influenced by a few different artists out there in the process of, de- of uh, delivering it and um, we're really pleased when we first started out you know um you know, Scott said he wanted the Dan to, to do the cover, but we're from the old school ideals of we we are used to doing albums rather than CDs. So we had envisaged a, a gatefold sleeve as being our release, and um, you know the detail that's in this that formulates the the, the, the gatefold sleeve is, is just amazing. And uh, yeah, we're really really pleased with the final products, and I think it really kind of. Exp- explains and goes hand in hand with the music we're creating. Memorial. 